Assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial, we will see how to initialize for SCF calculation and how to do SCF calculation with PVE potential in Win2K. In the last video, we talked how to generate uh, and uh, visualize the structure using Win2K and Xcristian. So, following that, I have the structure generated for titanium carbide. So, if I click here, you can see this is the structure of the titanium carbide and we will do the initialization and uh, run the SCF calculation for this structure. So, I will click here initialize calculation. So, I will follow these steps. I will show you that you uh, three ways, one following the each of the step, then another one the shortcut way that doing this uh, option and also you can do it in terminal. So, first let us start with this. So, and then I will execute this one. This gives uh, here you have to see something that uh, the RMT, the sum of the RMTs should be less than the uh, NN distance. So, the RMTs are 1.79 and 2.19 for carbon and uh, titanium and the sum is 3.98 but it is less than 4.08. Uh, it cannot be higher than this value. If it is higher than this, then you will not be able to run the SCF calculation. It will give you error. Okay, then now you can visualize if you want to make any change, you can change otherwise you do uh, same thing. Now S group we will click here. So, this has calculation has been performed. Now, here are the things. Okay, just to show you that this says that S group found 225, but we have chosen the S group and we have created the structure as I told you in the last video. This is F. So, for the titanium carbide, I know that this is F type. Now, if you choose the 225 now, then you won't be able to do calculation F with the titanium carbide because it changes the structure. So, you need to be sure about the S group. If you know for sure that what group you have chosen that is the correct then do not accept it. But if you are not sure then you may try and another thing if there is a warning then you must need to accept otherwise it will not continue the calculation. So, since there is no warning and I know that group S group for titanium carbide is F I will not accept it I will click here no. Now, these are I have to create and run this and also now the new structure file accept. Okay, here is the thing when you run this one it gives the option if you want to do a spin polarization calculation you have to choose which one will have what is spin. You can choose all up, you can choose all down or you can choose uh, as you like but for this video I am not going to show the spin polarization calculation. So, I will uh, choose no. Okay. Now is L start. Okay. Here is the way of choosing the potential. So the default is PVE GGA potential, but there are other options. Uh, so if you want to choose another, you can choose. But I will keep the default one. You can visualize this one also. Okay, this is to set RK max. This is the important value RK max. There is a uh, wiki or RK max. If you go to the site here, here they gives a description of the RK max for which atom what are chemex should be chosen also they change they have these uh, lines that you need these are the default uh, values but you may choose sometimes higher than this one something depending on the calculation you want if you want to make it uh, even more accurate or uh, than that case you make a uh, little bit higher than this one but if you want a fast calculation just to estimate the results then you may need to reduce it for a little bit. 
so this is your choice you can read the manual here then you can make a choice your own i will keep the default one for this uh, tutorial purpose okay so this is uh, to prepare output uh, input files for sf calculation so the sf files have been generated you can see your input seems to be okay you can start initialization so these are actually all the steps for checking uh, what the files are okay or not now if I click the KZN, I need to create the K mesh. So you can choose a thousand or even if you want to uh, choose the separately, you can uh, give the values here. I'll keep it thousand for this tutorial purpose. Now this uh, the one thing uh, with the higher K points, the calculation may become slower. So uh, you have to choose uh, uh, the K points depending on your system and also it needs a bit of experience but usually higher k points gives the higher accuracy so if you want to shift the k points you choose yes but i will not choose yes i don't want the k points to be shifted so here you can see the k points have been created 10 10 10 uh, but uh, 47 uh, k points uh, uh, this is I have given thousands so they have generated the automatically you can view the care list and now they start okay so I am ready now since I have chosen uh, not to perform spin polarization calculation previously with L start I will choose here no but if you have chosen the spin polarization calculation you will choose yes then you have to uh, do some uh, d start up and d start down again for both of these pins but since i'll choose no here so now the initialization has been done the files have been generated all the input files you can see here so if i go here so these are all the files if i can see these are the all input files this has been generated and, uh, Okay, this is one way of initialization. Before going to SCF calculation, uh, I want to show you the other ways of initialization. So to do so, let me delete all these files. Just keep the structure file. So I'll open the structure file only. So here is the structure file. I will keep it. Just remove everything. Now I don't have anything here. Let's save this file. So I have the structure file only. If you go here, the structure. So this is the structure file, and you can visualize this is the same structure file. So the other way of initialization is using this base. So if you want to do spin polarization calculation, you uh, uh, tick here. If you don't want to do spin polarization, you leave it as it is. If you don't give any of the values, they will choose all the default values. Say for this moment, I want to choose K point, uh, sorry, RK max 8 and the K points are 500. So I give them. So I have to click it twice. The first click, it will check whether the files are okay or not. So now it has checked and it says that the files are okay. So we can do the initialization. If I click the uh, run uh, base initialization, now the initialization uh, has been done and all the files are created if you click view std out you can see all the outputs okay so if i reverse it then you can see initialization finalized okay so this is oh, uh, another way so you can see now that i have all the files and these are the input files let me show the other way the, from the terminal you can do. The command is also given here in it uh, LAPW. So this is the command you can use in the terminal to do initialization. So let me delete all the files again and uh, save the. So I have no files here as you can see. I'll save the structure file. So now I have the structure file. Now if I do this. If I run the init LAPW, I will in the in uh, file. Sorry, the initialization will be done. So if you just do it, it will ask um, all the parameters. But if you click on B, if you give minus B the flag, it will do the initialization with all the default parameters. 
So if I do, now it is done. So this says all the outputs are printed and it says that the initial init LAW finished and it's okay. Now what happens if I don't give B? So it will ask me everything for this. Uh, so because I have done it before. So this, this. I'm sorry. No, so okay. Uh, my mistake. Let's remove all the files again. So I start from the beginning because I have the files. That's why they are asking me again. I will save this one. Now, okay. I don't have anything except the structure file. So if I give only this uh, initialize PW without the minus B option, then it will ask me. See, it's asking for the redu RMT reduction if I want to do anything else. Or the, let's choose two, then the old or new. So I will choose new. Like this, it will keep asking you every steps. Okay, so you can do this one also and you can uh, manipulate whatever the value or choose whatever value you like. Now, if you want to know about more of about this, how this is done, you click on the minus, you give uh, with minus H the help that it shows everything. What can you do? So if you give B minus B, it will do the with automatic, but it will always ignore the S group. Okay. Another thing is that with minus RKMX, you can choose the RKMX value and also uh, with NumK, you can choose the K points. There are all the other parameters you can read about these values. Okay. Now let's go for the uh, SCF calculation. So I will remove all the files and I will save the structure file again and do the initialization since I have this one go the initialization they'll do the this from this one is everything okay now to run the SCF I'll click here run SCF this is actually very simple so the values have been chosen default values you can change the values the converging criteria depending on uh, what you are doing how much accuracy you want now the default uh, iteration number is 40 but if you think that for your system uh, it may uh, take more uh, cycles you can click here and increase the number but with the default value you can do the default calculation so i will do the start scf calculation so it will just start the calculation now you can see it may take a while so it so the scf calculation has been finished now we can see that I have the results and yeah, let's start SCF so here the titanium carbide SCF file all the informations are saved here so that's all for today this is how you can initialize I have shown you three ways uh, then you can do the SCF calculation with your system thank you